Hey, this is Kid Guru here with Tech Talk episode Tech Talk episode five. Basically, my technology talk of the day with five news stories happening in technology. Uh, my f- personal picks, uh, I'll go into detail with, with them as much as I can. Uh, and all links and video and video pictures info will be in the video description. You can click the links and check them out for yourself. Uh, all the articles, etc., will be there. I try my best to insert pictures, but most likely I will not be able to in this because uh, I usually go over the 10 minute limit, so I, there's no time to add them in. Anyways, guys, uh, I want to jump right into the tech top, tech top stories of today. So let me just start off with uh, first story of the day, eBay strike. I'm sure you guys heard of this. Uh, we just got done with the writer strike, and now eBay strikers, eBay strike, I should say, uh, b- basically eBay buyers, sellers, or eBay users in general, are started to start form a strike because recent changes of eBay's whole auction house business. Uh, price ranges of uh, prices have gone up on fees, stuff like sellers have to pay to sell, I believe, is what I heard. Uh, a lot of more fees. Uh, there's also, they took away an option that people got mad with, that you cannot leave uh, negative feedback to users. This, they said, eBay said that, uh, so it, it relieved tension and have less grudges against users. But personally, I think, you know, that, that isn't, can be an issue if you're scammed or anything. But I say let them handle it, but be filtered, you know. Let them communicate in a different way. Let Filter the conversations, you know. I know there's a lot of people, but let the user have feedback. But, you know, really make it in a different way. Turn, turn this in another way than you're going, you know. Steer in another direction. Let them have feedback, but, uh, you know, be... Be more wise, you know, filter them. I would rather be watched closely rather than not have the feature evolve, you know what I mean? Either that or add more features to the site. Uh, I recently saw this on a podcast that saying eBay is landlocked business. It's a great business, no, no doubt about it, but, you know, they have to get more options. Look at other companies out there that they can buy to increase revenue and stuff like that. Basically, they're getting their money from the auction housing business, of course, and uh, PayPal. So they really have to see how to produce more revenue add more options to the site when they release the buy now option you know a lot of people love that but now there's a strike going on with all these new features that a lot of people really don't like uh, so with that you'll probably see not a lot of ebayers online till the strike is done anyways guys uh, moving on to the next story the Nokia Morph Nokia Morph is basically a cell phone a cell phone yeah just like this one but it's flexible, bendable. This isn't Nokia, but you know I can bend this phone for sure. But it won't. You know it's not meant to bend. This phone is made out of a rubber type substance gel, said to be made in seven years time. But Nokia stated that with the advancement in technology and new t- newer tech coming out, that they should be able to get sooner in. Uh, there's already pictures released on this. Now it has no screen as of now. I'm not sure if they're going to add a screen. It's made with t- nanotechnology, so they can fit smaller hardware in there, you know, with much, much power, and you know, a lot of now, technology now is getting much, much better and powerful as the future comes, uh, you know, as the future passes, but uh, it has a headset, I believe, that's wireless with it as well, it's all made out of uh, flexible material and transparent electronics, so you can see through it, and self-cleaning uh, surfaces, so it's easy to clean off, and yeah, there isn't a lot of note on it, released by Nokia, but there are some pictures, so I'll leave the video, I'll leave the links in the video description, be sure to check that out. As of that, there's not really any word on, uh, you know, if it's going to include a screen, etc., etc. But it is something promising to look, look, as I said, you can probably wrap it around your wrist like a watch, and that would be really cool to have your cell phone around your wrist. Anyways, moving on, IE Beta, IE 8 Beta. Uh, I, you know, guys, uh, basically, this Internet Explorer 8 is said to be the beta is said to be released soon, and really, uh, I'll look. I'll see. I'll see how it is. I have to really start testing out more beta, like Firefox 3.0, and I'll look into this as well. But they want to. Security is, of course, a big part on this uh, update. They're aiming towards stronger. Uh, what is it here? Strong security, ease of use, and web development improvements, along with uh, stronger CSS or cascading style sheets. Uh, ease of cooperation with other browser features so that they can sync more easily to IE uh, client side apps for IE and security better security models and they're working with a company called W3C 
W3C to uh, standardize the X, XHTML in the browser along with web development compatibility to get more sites out there that weren't working previously with other versions uh, on IE8 to, to get, get up and running either that or if they were slow loading you know increase performance with that site uh, really, I think they should base it on, you know, security is great, but really don't let it nag the user. You know, a lot of people are upset with this in Vista. Hide it behind, but still have, you know, at the core of the browser have security, of course, but the security model shouldn't really nag the user. Add more features in it to make the user feel, you know, make it a user-friendly interface. Have faster speed, stuff like that really would make the browser great. Just like Firefox has its add-ons, IE is going to need something to really make it stand out and uh, we have to see what that will be. I'll t get back to you when I test the IE beta, IE 8 beta I should say. So next story of the day, Google Records. This is a pretty short story but basically uh, Google has released information that uh, they want to basically start to store users medical records via Google so that when they go to a hospital or any incident happens they can they give the doctor, nurse, whatever their Google account and they can search it up, they can go to their database, go in and it will be accessible to hospitals to check out the medical records through the Google account. It will send it with all your email and stuff like that. Uh, it should be, you know, they're still looking to have to securitize this. It will all go through through Google accounts and through hospitals, of course, so that you can check your medical record via internet. Though the problem with this is, you know, security, they'll have to see how to landlock it, really have to make it safe to, you know, just in case anything gets out. So I'm not sure if their word is they're going to make it cynic with a Google account. Is That's what the word is so far, but we still have to see if they'll make a separate whole feature for that for the users. But a lot of people say it's cool and it could be for the future more likely, but they have to see how it would be more secure over the net, especially over the net. You don't want anybody just getting your hands on that. So. Uh, Next story of the day, balloon Wi-Fi. This is also from Google, so this is the second Google story of the day. Basically, Google is trying to, they're interested in this company, Space Data, who is pre uh, presenting this uh, idea of expanding Wi-Fi with, you know, bringing better and cheaper connection. Basically, they're $5 balloons. They're mini Hindenburg type of balloons. They're using hydrogen air, which is cheaper than, uh, what is it, uh, helium? And re they're going to get regular people to use it as a launch crew because they said it's easier and, you know, a lot of farmers and stuff out there, you, they can just easily just let these balloons go off. It'll be attached to a mini uh, cell phone tower or wireless tower that's around 1500 bucks, about size maybe like Mac mini shape, kind of bigger, and it'll have a parachute attached to that. So basically you can get much, much higher than other type of things out there that, you know, like cell phone towers and stuff like that and produce Wi-Fi in a lot of areas and get better and con better connection using cheaper materials. Only problem is these balloons are estimated to pop around 24 hours or so a day. The thing is they can track these all through their database center, find out where they're about to land in an advance of eight hours. So you know they, they have a good idea of where it's going to land. The only problem is they have to find the cell phone tower. Now the pro uh, as for the tower itself, when, it po when the balloon pops, the tower uh, has a parachute attached to it so it'll safely land on the floor. The only thing is people, you know, bystanders can, you know, pick it up or whatever. You really have to see what they're going to do with this. They have to have like a whole tracking team and stuff like that. But it is a good idea for future references. Uh, but they can track the battery, gas, and altitude. So uh, it looks like a great idea for Wi-Fi term, you know, Wi-Fi terms to get higher, you know, much, much more Wi-Fi uh, how should I say, access points and stuff like that, wireless points out there and better connection throughout, you know, places that don't really have, I forgot where it was, but they had one place in particular. But basically, it'll be using through balloons. Now, these balloons are made from uh, aluminum type of foiling, and then they are uh, oven, put in an oven to uh, increase the, ta the outside core so that it's more durable. So, estimated 24 hours to pop is the only problem, really. But Google is really interested interested in this, along with other companies. The company is called Space Data that's trying to release this. Uh, you know, we're just gonna have to see how it works out in the future. But Google is uh, most likely the most uh, common to buy this. So uh, that's Tech Talk, Tech Talk episode five, and my top five stories of the day. I'll try and add some pictures as of right now, 
and some all the links and stuff you need will be in the video description right thanks for watching and make sure you check out the pictures and everything following right now